it's Melinda from Scrapbooking and Craft. Just thought I'd come on and have a play with my new watercolours I bought. I managed to get these for $3.50 in Spotlight last week. They're normally about $16. They look very similar to the Artist Loft or the packaging does Do you girls get in America. Um, and they're by Micador in Australia. I've seen them also in Big W, but they're like $17 and I've um denied and go, no. So I'm working in my Needlecraft book. Um, so this is an altered journal or an altered book um, following a bit that Courtney Diaz is doing. I'll put her link below if I remember. Um, she is the little ink on YouTube. Basically she shows us, um, she's doing a series of videos on how to alter a sewing book. It's a different style of art journaling, just to give you a quick rundown. Instead of working on one page from start to finish, you actually go through and just stick random things in. Like there, I've stuck some pattern papers in. Um, this one I've just coated in paint. So just sticking some random things in and then you keep building on the pages and then you eventually get to completed pages. Um, this one I've stuck just random bits on. Um, this one's a completed page. So I like the paper in this book. It's not watercolour paper, so I don't know how the watercolours are going to go. But it's, the book's from about the 1970s, so it's not glossy paper, it's like um, matte paper. And if I find it's getting too wet, I might just glue it to the next page. I will see. So I did this pen sketch a little while ago when I just wanted to draw. And this critter, I actually got inspired by someone in the group. Um, not real happy with doing it over the picture, but I sort of started and didn't really think of that. Um, so... Sorry for that noise, something fell off my table. You also have to excuse my voice tonight. It's still struggling with tonsillitis. Um, nearly finished my course of antibiotics and my throat is still really, really sore. Still got a temperature, so I think it's off to the doctor. I seriously think I should be able to get a refund on medicines when the first lot doesn't work and you have to go pay for a second lot. Comment down below if you agree. I just think it's terrible. Um... But that's okay. We're enough about my tonsillitis. So I'm just making sure I'm in frame. Sorry if I'm wiggling the camera. I'm working on the same table. Um, so let's go and do some face first. Let's give her a pink face. So this sort of little creature... Creature. Oh my god. Creature is inspired by someone in the group. Um, not sure whose name. These are a lot along the lines of Courtney's... Um, I think she calls them Nook Dwellers, Courtney Diaz. Um, just different cartoony type um, little critters. So I thought I'd come and add some um, watercolour to this one tonight and test out these Micador watercolours. Um, I may grab a second set um, for my daughter. But then again, I'm thinking these sets won't be used up very quickly because they're quite cakes of paint. It's going on quite... Um, quite, um, what's the word I'm looking for, opaque, which is quite nice, I might do the lips a different colour, so I'm just using a water brush, I'm not using the, the brush that come in the set, if you don't know what a water brush is, it's actually a brush that has, um, it's like an ink pen, but instead of putting ink in the pen, um, you actually put water in the barrel of the brush, uh, and then you slightly squeeze it, and I don't know whether you can see, you slightly squeeze it, and the water comes out. So instead of re-dipping into your um, watercolour or re-dipping into your water every time, you can just sort of comes out of the brush. Don't know how much shading and how fancy I'll get with this. Just wanting to lay down some. They're quite deep. I'd say the cakes of paint are about half a centimetre deep, um, which is better than some cheap watercolours I've bought. Not that their normal price of $16 is cheap. The thing I liked is also they've got this palette over here so you can mix. Um, but I don't know how much mixing I'll do tonight. I think I'm just going to play. I'm hoping this paper doesn't peel too much and um, be a bit of a bother. So you have to excuse my voice tonight. It's a bit late at night. I just wanted to play. I've been doing a bit of study and doing some of my assignments and then just wanted... It's a bit early to go to bed. Stop the wee hours of the morning is usually when I go to bed. So it's going on quite nicely. Um, someone said this has a bit of a chalky feel to it when it dries. That'll be interesting to see if that does. 
I'd love to get some of the um, more artist quality watercolors, but they're just out of my budget at the moment. I'm this year is my year to use up, even though these are new, <laughs> use up the paints and everything that I've got. But I didn't have a decent set of watercolors. Like I've got kids' watercolors, and the last set I bet bought was like two dollars fifty, and they were just gross. They were very sticky when they went on and there was hardly anything in the pan. So just off to the side I've actually just got my apron and to change colour I'm just squeezing a bit of water out and just getting the colour off the brush. I have to see how long my voice will actually last tonight. Um, let's give us some deeper red lips. My daughter thinks it's funny. My voice has been coming and going all week. I'm not sure whether I mentioned in one of my previous... Crap. Sugar. Shouldn't swear. Um, previous videos that I did a three-day craft show in Melbourne while I was very sick with tonsillitis. That was last weekend. Now It's now... I should have some paper towel. I don't have any because I just blotted that in the wrong spot. Too much water. Um, so since I've had my tonsillitis I haven't really rested. My doctor knows not to write me out doctor's certificates because he knows I work for myself and there's no point. I had to go to the craft show and then I had to do something for my daughter's school last Thursday and the last couple of days I've just felt really, really bad. So I think the tonsillitis is winning this time. Okay, it's probably a good idea to have some paper towel to blot up the bits. But it's actually... Is it soaking through? No, it's not really soaking through the paper. That's paint on the back of the paper. Let's do a dress. What colour am I going to do a dress? Um, I'm actually liking the coverage of the paint. Um, yeah, sorry, going back to what I was saying before, is I'd really like some um, artist quality uh, watercolours. Um, Courtney Diaz actually uses, um, I'll probably get the name wrong, Schmick. Yeah, they look really nice in the little, 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 little pans of colour. Um, and she's made like a rainbow set for favourite colours and I love that set but not this year. Maybe next year. I do have a smaller water brush but I don't know where it is. This one's quite a thick, quite a thick nib on the end or quite a thick brush. So I'm actually liking these watercolours. They're nice and opaque for watercolours, which is nice. That's what I wanted in this book. I wanted to be able to cover up some of the text and dull out the text, but I didn't want to necessarily use a lot of gesso. And you're really going to have to excuse my voice. It's doing funny things. I should be in bed resting, not playing. But I might just go over those buttons in something darker. Just trying not to get too much paint too much water in the actual pan of the colour because then it dilutes it a bit too much. I'm actually liking these. I think my daughter Alexis will like these too. So yes, this is my year to use everything up and I should have done this other side first. Now I'm going to have to put my arm across here. Um, trying to use up a lot of bits and pieces and get everything organised and all put together doesn't stop me from buying new stuff. I was going to not buy anything this year, but oh, I'm going to go over these buttons in a darker colour. Um, trying to get my stash organised as well. I've got bits and pieces everywhere. And to try to find stuff at the moment is a nightmare. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the year. To try to get my stash organised. And I am liking these watercolours. They are very nice. I have a feel of the pink ones, the pink face in a minute when they're dry. I'll turn my gun on, uh, my heat gun on and give it a bit more of a dry, but I have to unplug my light, which is um, if I unplug my light it goes fairly dark. Struggling with lighting at the moment and power cords and all that sort of stuff where I craft, so it's I either have the Oops, it's a bit too much water. I have either the heat gun plugged in or the light plugged in. 
Oh, the video camera plugged in. Ugh. Joys of my house at the moment. Yeah, let's just go over those buttons. I'll pick up a different colour. Actually, the dry water colours are feeling quite nice. Someone said they were a bit chalky. Now, the, the lady I heard say they were chalky was actually American lady. Um, but as I said, the Artist Loft, what you get at Michael's, looks very, very similar in the palette of what they're in to what we have. Let's give us some... Let's go this colour. Um, and give us some stripes in this colour. Yeah, Artist Loft in America or Mikador in Australia. It looks like the similar... Whether it's a similar paint. Um, she was saying I was watching a review tonight or a YouTube video tonight. I don't know who I was watching. Um, this one that came up had the similar paint. She said they're a bit chalky when they dried. But nothing's coming off when you're rubbing it. They're quite nice. Nice colours. thing I liked about them is they I've looked at them for a while but couldn't justify the $17 I didn't think they were worth that and then when I saw them at um, Spotlight the other day they were down to 7 which was reasonable and then it had an orange clearance ticket on it and if you're from Australia you know the orange clearance tickets and they had 50% off all their orange clearance tickets <sighs> so that sort of made it three fifty for the set which I thought was quite reasonable I'd try them for that so I'm actually quite liking them. I don't know how they'd go um, to like paint watercolour scenes and stuff. But they're fairly, being fairly good for what I want to do. What colour eyes do we give her? We give her green eyes. Oops. Just put darker in that lighter green. problem I find with this water brush or any water brush is when I use a colour it tends to taint the water as you can see the brush the water's up here it's tainted like the dark blue colour and then you go to use a lighter colour and it taints your colour now I don't know whether that's something I'm doing wrong or whether that's just the way the water brushes work paint her stripes on her shirt same colour Next time I might actually film me drawing this, but I was just on the couch and just decided to have a draw. Um, so I did this drawing just with um, be a permanent marker of some kind, probably a Sharpie marker, thin Sharpie marker, because um, it's not picking up the the, um, the watercolour, it's not affecting the black ink. Um, I tend to find if I draw in pencil, I'll rub it out and worry about getting things perfect. Um, I tend to find if I go straight into... Um, the outside of your ears this colour and then I'll do the inside of something else. I find if I tend to go straight to the ink drawing then I think about my drawing a bit more. I think about what's on top and then what's underneath and how I'm going to draw, what I'm going to draw and because the fact is that I can't erase it I think a bit more and I'm a bit more purposeful with my lines than being able to erase it. Well that's my sort of feeling anyway. Um, I've nearly filled up another sketchbook of just sort of zentangling doodles and I like copying um, or getting inspiration from other people's drawings and things and then turning them into my own. Let's do, she's looking like a clown. That's okay. We've actually got clowns all over our town at the moment. There's big blow up clowns everywhere and every time my daughter and I go out we see these clowns everywhere. We've got the circus or a travelling circus in our town for the next week and a half or two weeks. So they've got these big gaudy yellow blow up clowns dotted around the town. There's some hanging out of buildings and there's some um, in people's front yards. 
and different fleeces. It's quite funny. Obviously advertising the um, the circus. My daughter and I won't be going to the circus this year. We're going to something different this month. We're actually going to see a performance of, and it was my daughter's choice this time, at our local theatre, a performance of Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pot. Now for all my international viewers, you might not know what Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pot is. Um, it's actually... I'm just wondering what type colour do these buttons, I might do them there this colour. Um, Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie is actually a couple of Australian based characters. Um, by, I believe the author is Mae Gibbs. It's a children's book and they've actually um, brought it to life on a stage show. So I bought my sister, uh, bought my uh, bought my daughter um, a couple of tickets for her and I to go next week. So they're only $16 for the tickets which I thought was quite reasonable to go to the circus. It's like $25 each. It's ridiculous. Filling her buttons. I'm loving these colours. These colours are nice and rich and beautiful. So when I want some more water in the little paint of pan of colour, I'm just squeezing it and a drop or two of water comes out and then you just sort of scrub it around in the little palette. Um, then to change, I've actually got a dish of water I was using before, I was using Mod Podge. So I just dip the, dip the, dip the brush in the water and then just give it a couple of squeezes, and I'm just wiping it on my apron. Now what colour should I do with ears? I might go the green colour we had. Oops, that's probably a bit too much water. Don't put that much water in. I find sometimes I squeeze my water brushes and then not enough water comes out, so I squeeze again and then a big blob comes out. So the idea of this sewing book, or I'm actually doing it in a needlecraft book, is to actually allow the colours and the drawings from underneath the show through your artwork. You can... Excuse me. You can cover them up completely, but you can also leave them show through. Um, Courtney doesn't use a lot of gesso. Um, I don't think she hardly ever uses gesso on her pages. Um, so she just goes directly over the top. Um. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, my throat's not feeling nice at all. It feels like it's on fire. Has anyone got a good remedy apart from getting tonsils ripped out to stop getting tonsillitis? Probably resting when you get it is probably a good idea instead of working a four day craft show and talking. But you got to do what you got to do. I've got another craft show coming up in October, the end of October. No, start of October. Hang on. No, end of October. End of October. So I'm actually off to Sydney the end of October. I love her green ears. They are very cute. I'll just move this around so I don't put my hand in. I did it again. Oh, now I've flicked stuff. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm going to do in the background of this. Oh, now I've dribbled stuff everywhere. Oh my god. I'm having one of those nights. Maybe I shouldn't craft into the wee hours. Maybe it's telling me something when I keep making mistakes. To go to bed. Especially because I'm not feeling well. Oh well, you guys can keep me company while I'm not feeling well and I'll just get her done and I might do something with the background later. It's a bit hard to film in this book because I just do, I actually just picked it up, um, I was doing some, a um, bit of art for a bit of study I'm doing and I said I had some leftover um, pieces of jelly prints that I'd torn up, so I thought oh, I'll just, this is sort of like a use it up journal. Um, and then I'll go through and do stuff on the pages. Um, so I was just sticking those in and then I flipped to this page and go, oh, I forgot I did this drawing in here, it was a few weeks ago. And then I go, oh, I've got those new watercolours. Oh. And I got distracted from my study, which is very easy to do. Um, but I must, must get back into it tomorrow. She looks like a painted cloud, doesn't she? Just 
wash off my brush again. Sorry if I'm bumping the table. I've had to move the camera onto my table um, just to get the right angle. Now, what colour will we put between your ears? Let's go yellow. So yellow looks nice and vibrant. Be interesting to do an experiment with the white. And this should be dry enough over here. Oh. Ah. Now my water is all dirty in the blooming barrel. This is why I don't like water brushes. I like them, but I don't like them. I use some water from my paint palette for your football. I think I'll squeeze the water from the brush. Oh. If I knew how to edit, I would get up and get some clean water. But we're getting there with my editing skills. If you're a long time subscriber, you probably listen to me go, I'm going to get proper editing software soon. I'm actually buying it next week. Yay! And I've just got to be able to use it. But unfortunately, I've got to use it on my laptop because I've said this a few times before that my actual computer doesn't have speakers and it's too expensive to fix them so I've got myself a cheap laptop but I just I suppose I'm a creature of habit and I like my computer I know everything where everything is I really don't have to look where the keys are or where the things are on the computer I sort of know a lot of my computer work is very repetitive so I sort of know where certain things are and I don't have to look half the time I just go click 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 and I get the right things so but Plus, the laptop doesn't have a real mouse, and I hate those little pad mouses, mices, mices, mouses, that, that you have to use. Yes, I could go plug another mouse in. That's not a big deal, which I might have to if I do a lot of editing, because it's going to really bug me. I'll just put lots of yellow. Ah! But yeah, for some reason, I just... Every time I get on the laptop, I just hate it, but I think it's just, I've got to use it more and get used to it. Um, so I'm hoping, I've got lots of videos that I've sort of filmed in parts that need to be pieced together and sped up and voiced over and voiced over did. Oh, I can't talk tonight. Also like to say a welcome to all my new subbies. If you'd like to see me do any particular videos, um, let me know. I know you enjoy a lot of um, Alexis's videos and we're just busy. She's busy with school at the moment. Um, we'll be doing a load more in January school holidays in Australia. The kids are off school from just before Christmas um, to almost to February. Usually they go back to school the last couple of days in January. So we'll have a good six weeks to um, do lots of videos and lots of artwork and stuff. But at the moment she's got She's only in grade 3 at school, so she's turning 9 at the end of the year, so grade 3 at school. And she just seems to have that much homework at the moment, that much things going on. Sorry, excuse me, I'm just washing my brush so I can fix up that top bit of green. This one I mugged up with. Yeah, like this, I just want to put the green back in. Now, what are we going to do in the background? I'm going to do a wash in the background. I like the yellow. Let's see if we can do a yellow wash in the background. So yeah, she's just busy by the time we do all her homework per week. And, and as I said, I did the show last weekend and then we got one in October. So I've got to make all my products for my show and organise all my bits and pieces. And then we'll be away for a week. So I'll have to schedule some videos. Actually, I like that yellow in the background. Um... So I'll schedule some videos so you don't miss us in the week. And then I'm sure we'll do some shopping in Sydney. Or I will. Do some shopping in Sydney. I love going to Sydney for shopping. Just down from where we um, down from where we work in Sydney where the show is, there's a spotlight and a Lincraft, like sort of in the same sort of like a homemaker centre. It has all sort of big shops like that. Um, I haven't been up to Sydney for a while, for a few years. Um, I used to go, a few years ago, I used to go every year. Um, but I thought I'd pop up to Sydney at the end of the year and take my business up there again. Um, but there's a spotlight in Lincraft, and then I like Penrith Westfield, because there's, I don't know if there's a Dyso up there, I'll have to have a look. Um, 
but there's Riot, there's a nice big Riot, there's an Ecclesies, sometimes I get some cool stuff from the Eccle, whatever their name is, um, an art and craft shop in Australia. Um, what else do we have? There's a few cheapy shops at Penrith Westfield that I like as well. Well, they were there a couple of years ago, um, so it'd be interesting to see if they're there. Cheapy shops like your Dollar Trees in America, um, but not everything's a dollar. It'd be nice to have one of those. Hey Dollar Tree, if you're watching my video, can we please have you come to Australia? That'd be nice. It'd be nice to have a dollar store with all your sorts of stuff. It actually washes out really well too. I'm just hoping when I go near here I don't have to... I might do something in that background. I might do some stenciling or something another day. I'm very happy with these watercolours. They're very bright and pigmented. I find some watercolours are just really washed out. Even though they're supposed to be a translucent paint, they're too washed out for my liking because I like bright, bold colours. So I'll just move her over so you can see. I might zoom out a little. Ooh. Definitely time to go to bed, I think. So I definitely um, recommend these watercolours and I've hardly used anything, probably used the most out of the yellow and you really can't tell anyone's missing. Um, and this would be a nice palette um, to use when they're all finished as well. Get some tube watercolours and, and squeeze out in them as well. So there's my try of Mikador Stylist watercolours, don't know what stylist means. Which translucent it says. Good light fastness. Oh, that's good to know. What else does it say about them? About that. Designed in Australia, made in China, isn't everything made in China? So, if you're wanting a um, reasonable set of nice watercolours to play with in your art journal and your um, art journal and things, I recommend those ones. They're quite good. And if you can get them under $16, even better. Get for a bargain. I think I will go rest my voice and go to bed, and I'll see you another day. Bye.